Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door, and I have a couple of journals to add to the booth for Miss Gina Cox. And look at this beautiful card she sent me. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it so much. Look how pretty that is. So I think what I want to do, um, I, well, I'm going to put this in my friend journal, uh, but look at the beautiful envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to be able to use both of those in there. So let's just get started. See what we got some big beautiful journals here so let's just see what we got i'm going to scoot one over to this side let me see if i can try and cut this tape so we don't rip the paper what pretty paper she's used let's see try to cut the tape there we go maybe that'll get it oh one more piece Okay, let's see what we got. And of course, I had it upside down. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. I've got my my phone plugged in because the uh, battery was done. Oh, y'all, it's a garden ring binder. Y'all gonna love this. I'm so excited. Look, okay. So here's all the pages. It's one of the Better Homes and Gardens five ring binder new garden books. Um, it has vintage postcards, vintage postage stamps, vintage wallpaper, fabric washi stickers. Um, it's um, 11 by eight and a half um, with 86 pages and all the original pages um, are used in the journal or enclosed. Yay, this is so pretty. I'm so excited. I know y'all are gonna love this. Look at this beautiful lace that she's tied it up with. And then you have these are all of um, the leftover pages that go in the book. Yay. Okay, let me scoot those over. So you have the gorgeous, gorgeous Better Homes and Gardens cover, and um, it's all original. I always love the back of this. I think it's so, so pretty. Let's see. All right, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. I love the tickets that she's used in the journal. And then you have a little heart pocket here. And um, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Oh, that's so pretty. Gorgeous, Gina. All right, this one's the 1968 cop. Okay, this was the fourth printing. So this one's 1971. Um, the binding is in really good shape. This is one of the five ring binders. So this is one of the original pages with the beautiful fabric washi she's got in here. She's got a label here. Beautiful little pocket here. It's like a library pocket. And then you have a large size tag tucked into that pocket. You have a beautiful little cluster here on a paper clip. And then a library pocket here with, oh, that's a cool library card. Can y'all see? It's um, it's like uh, shimmery. The lines are shimmery. Oh, I love the little stamp she's used here. And then you have a card here. Okay, so she's attached the envelope to the page. And then she's tucked the little card in there. Very, very pretty binder. This is gorgeous. I love how she's decorated the pages and then you have a fabric tip in and some lined paper underneath. And look, that is so cool. Um, it's like a vintage bank check. Have a tip in there and then there's a tip in there. I love all these um, stamps that she's used. That one's a tip in with lined paper. Oh, look how sweet these are. So she's got you a little booklet here. And it's got the little fabric tab at the top. So you have a little booklet on each page. And then this is a tip-in envelope. And you have a goodie inside there. She's got lined paper underneath for you to journal on. Oh, I love the paint chip. How cool is that? And then you have a beautiful envelope here, and it folds out. Oh, how pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. So pretty. Have a little 
library pocket here and she's put a couple of um, well it's a fold-out recipe card tucked into that pocket that's a tip in and then this is a tip in I love all these stationary pieces and a lot of them she's put um, oh this is a tuck a lot of them she's put lined paper underneath for extra journaling space. I love these little pieces of stationery. And I think that's washi tape. This is a tip in with lined paper underneath. So this is very similar to like an altered book. She's used the original pages and decorated each page, made pockets on them, and put lined papers um, in for, that's a pretty little bookmark. And it's got a scripture on it. And then you have a lined tag here. Beautiful altered paper clip there. We're going to flip through quickly because this is quite a large journal. Lots of pages. So this is a tip in and it tucks in underneath there. Beautiful. vellum pocket here with a journaling card yeah. that's pretty and a tag there's another recipe card tucked into that library pocket this is a tip in I have a tag in that I like the way she made um, her paint chip a pocket Oh, that's pretty. I love that. And it's she's got the little piece of lace and then oh okay. So the whole thing, oh it's a little lined paper. How pretty is that? Yeah, I mean, and she's collaged on the pages. That's a little <laughs> that's super cute. I love that little heart. So you have a piece tucked in there. That folds open. Lines of paper, little library card in a pocket. So she's put you um, a lot of places to do your journaling in the book. And I love that she's used the original pages and just created on top of those original pages. It prevents a lot of waste. Let's see, you can write here. Super cute little stickers there. Another little recipe card in this library pocket. And I think it's a pocket in behind, too. Let's see. Yeah. You can tuck something in behind there. That one was just too big. Little belly band out of a paint chip. Look how pretty that card is. Oh, that is gorgeous. Isn't that a pretty vintage postcard? I love that. So pretty. In. A little uh, seed pack there with a cute little card. I love that card. And then you have a little pocket here tucked under um, an altered paper clip. And the pocket has goodies in it. Library pocket. Oh, I love the roses. And then this is like a little tuck with uh, lines of paper underneath. I love the way she's collaged her pages. And then you have a beautiful card pocket here within the envelope. That's that handmade paper, which I love so much. And that's a tip in, and then you can write in this area. Here's a tuck. Oops, we're stuck a little. And a beautiful little tag tucked into that flower tuck. Recipe card in the library pocket. I love the owls. They're super cute. Beautiful doily tuck here. Oh, this is so cool. This is like a, um, you know, it's canvas. And it's got a little bit of something on the back to make it a little stiff. That's gorgeous. I love that. I'm going to tuck here. That's a tip in. And then this opens up, how cute is that? 
little pocket here and there's goodies in the pocket and a little pocket here with goodies in there I'm not gonna try and pull all the goodies out just simply because I'm a I'm fumble fingers <laughs> Oh, how cute is this? Look at this teeny tiny vintage little note card. How stinking cute is that? Oh, it folds all the way out. I love that so much. Look at this tiny envelope it's in. There we go. And then you have a Rita flip here. So stinking cute. Beautiful tag there in that library pocket. That's a tip in. Gorgeous altered paper clip. And then in this pocket you have a little tag and one of the library cards. I love the uh, fabric washi she's used all throughout the journal. Look at these cute little memo sheets. There's several of them here stapled together to make a little booklet. Aren't those cute? Another little recipe card in your library pocket there. Love the apples. That one's a tip in. I love these. There's some really pretty pictures in these books. Altered paper clip. Library card tucked in there. recipe card and that's a little tip in and this is a tip in little pocket here how stinking cute is this that's a really neat postcard very pretty that one's a tip in that one's a tip in Got a little tag in that pocket there library card tucked in there, a read a flip and a little piece of a time card, altered paper clip, a beautiful tag in this pocket, a tag in that, I love the paint chip pockets, you have some lined paper here and here, and then that is the end of the journal and you have Another little bookmark with a scripture on it and a library card in that pocket. So this one, it will be listed as the Better Homes and Gardens binder. And that's how you'll find it in the shop. Let me grab um, the last journal. Let's see what we've got. I have to cut the tape on this one. Hang on a second. Okay, this is a binder journal as well. I love the cover. Isn't that beautiful? I love how she's torn the edge here. And then she's done all of these beautiful decorations to make like a little collage cover. Um, and then she has decoration on the spine. I love, I love how sturdy this cover is. So this is a ring binder. It's a three ring binder. Okay, let's see. Let me scoop some of this over here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stab myself in the foot on my scissors. That's never a good thing. <laughs> all right, so this is a vintage three ring binder on vintage papers and postcards and book pages, stamping, washi tape, tape tea dyed papers, stickers. Um, it's 11 by nine and a quarter and it has 105 pages. So I'll leave this in the journal. Look how pretty this is. She's tied on this vintage um, key and made a little tassel here on the front ring, very pretty. And then can you see this okay? She's got the little library pocket here with a sweet little tag tucked into that pocket. And then there's your little piece that holds your papers in securely. Beautiful page here with the bird and she's got the paper clip at the top. You have a pocket here and look at this gorgeous lace pocket. I mean lace tag that she's made. That's so pretty. There's another one of those little, I love these little pieces of postalettes. These are awesome with the roses on them. Okay, so that's the, um, what do they call those? Tab page. Okay, you have a pocket here. Look at how cute that is. How adorable is that? Just tucked into that little pocket. And then she's got you a little P 
piece of a vintage book page with butterflies on it with an altered paper clip. Oh, I love this. This is a sticker that she's added on here, but how pretty is that? And I love how she's decorated each page to give you places to journal. Vintage music paper. And then you have a Rita flip here. Hopefully y'all can see this okay. I hope it's all fitting. Beautiful little um, ephemera piece there. And look at this gorgeous um, journal card. It's very, very textured. Oh, I wish y'all could feel it. It's beautiful. How cute is that? It's like a postcard. Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Super cute. So you have vintage grid paper. Very pretty. I love the coffee dyed lines paper. Ledger paper with stamping. This is parchment paper. Beautiful floral book page. There's a little, um, little vintage postcard. Music paper. I'm sitting here describing everything like y'all can't see it. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> I'm just going to flip. <laughs> this is a sweet journal. I love this. Very pretty pages. So you have the envelope with a goodie in there. And this is a vintage envelope. A tag in there. And then a tag in the Rita flip. I'm not going to pull all the tags out. Envelope there. This is really cool. Very pretty floral book page. Oh, I love what she did with the um, cupcake. And you can use it as a tuck. Cupcake liner. It's not an actual cupcake. That would not be good in a journal. <laughs> okay, this one folds out. So it folds out to this side and to this side. So you have lots of journaling room with that piece. So very pretty. I love the way she collages on her pages. Read a flip there with line paper in there. This one opens up. Super cute. I love this page. She's got you some beautiful um, poems. This is very pretty, Gina. You did a good job on this. This page came out. Um, so you just need a um, one of those hole reinforcers and that should stay in okay. Or you can re-punch it a little deeper in so that it'll stay in there. Super cute little envelope there. Oh, and look at the little card that's tucked in. How sticky cute. And there's a piece of stationery tucked in there too. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? A little vintage card. <laughs> Very cute. I'm trying not to hit the <laughs> the charger cord and bump the camera. Very pretty. I love the way she did this ring binder. I like these big ring binders where they're, you know, you have plenty of room to journal and do your mixed media, all kinds of fun stuff in here. Super cute little tag. Here's another one of those postalettes that fold out. And then this is, is this a pocket? Oh, it's a window pocket. How cute is that? I love the owl. Stamping. Very pretty papers she's used in here. And I love how she's added the little tags. Just as decoration on the page. Look how pretty is she. 
And I love that there's a pattern throughout the journal. You can see a pattern um, of the pages in the order. So it's like a repeating pattern. Super neat. Those feel so good. These floral book pages are gorgeous. You could take these out and make tags out of them. Decorate in your journal. This is a uh, envelope pocket with a card tucked in. Whoops. There we go. Oh, what a cute sack. So you can make it a tuck here. I just got the little label there, and then it's a pocket in there. And you have a large size piece for journaling inside that pocket. This tips out. And then another tab page there. And then in the very back, you have ledger paper, so you can even journal on the back cover. I love this binder. And then you have a pretty tag in that library pocket as well. So this one, what did we say? Let me just come back over here and find okay this one's going to be called the vintage three ring binder so that's how you'll find it in the shop so if you have any comments or questions you can leave them in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will and i hope you all have a great day big hugs